The Ultimate Fighter viewers got their first look at Philadelphia's Andre Petrovsky when he was chosen as Team Ortega's first pick in season 29. His skills scored him a late notice call to the big show in August of 2021. Since then, Petrovsky has been laser focused and his unbeaten run in the stacked middleweight division has him pegged as a future contender. Andre takes us back to where it all began as we revisit his Las Vegas Octagon debut in day one. I was on season 29 of The Ultimate Fighter, Ortega versus Volkanovski. I was the first pick for Team Ortega. We'll take Andre. It gave me confidence that the coaches believed in me and they saw something special. My first fight was against Aaron Phillips. I finished him in the first round. And then my second fight was against Brian Battle. He went on to win the tournament. The ultimate goal has always been to fight in the UFC and fight on the biggest platform in the world. So in my mind, I always knew that I would get there at some point. It was just a matter of when. At the time, I started looking for other regional fights. And I was in the grocery store, and I get a phone call. And he's like, Andre, it's Mick Maynard. I'm like. What? He's like, can you make weight in 10 days? When I heard that my opponent was Gilmore, I was confident because I knew how I had matched up against him in the practice room. Michael Gilmore was actually a teammate of mine. He actually was my training partner for the entire Brian Battle fight. And honestly, I wasn't upset at all. You know, I knew that for him that still gave him an opportunity to get into the UFC, and so I was happy about it. When I arrived at the arena the night of the fight, I had already had two fights in the apex from being on the Ultimate Fighter, so I was really just all around, like very comfortable, very relaxed and uh, confident going in. He was the first pick among the middleweights on this past season of The Ultimate Fighter, Andre Petrosky out of Philadelphia, PA. I mean, I hate to say it, but it just felt like a, just another night. It felt like an extension of The Ultimate Fighter. On the other side is Michael Gilmore. He was an alternate for the season, stuck around in Las Vegas. Fight. Look at that straight away. Petrosky comes out fast, right across the center of the octagon. I knew he wanted to keep the fight standing. You know, he's a striker. The first round, I threw a cross and a hook. Oh, big right from Petrosky. I connected on the hook really well. I knew that I had rocked him, but at the time, I shot right in for my takedown. A big slam. Nothing changed there. That was a beautiful right hook, straight into the double leg. I knew that that was a big momentum shift in my direction. I had a clear advantage on the ground. He's got to be careful as he stands because he's going to give up the ball. But he's hurt. Nice. But he's straight back down. I knew that I had won the first round. I was starting to settle into the fight. He was, you know, throwing a lot of inside leg kicks. There's the leg kicks from Gilmore. That's something I expected to see out of him in this fight. Slowly but surely, Gilmore's chipping away in the legs, working the body. Two takedowns in the first frame for Petrovsky and nearly four minutes of ground control time. And now goes in for the takedown. Look out for the guillotine. No, nice timing there for Andre to end this round. Yeah, he needed that big move. Finishing that round with the takedown and the ground and pound, I was confident that I had secured that second round. Third round coming. John Marquez said to me, yo, it's 1-1. One, one. Last round. Last round. 1-1. One, 1-1. One, one. You need to win this. 1-1. One, one. We have to go. Let's go. 
it kind of lit a fire under my ass because I was like, nah, I'm up two nothing. And then he was like, one one. I was like, all right, I guess we're going out in this third round as if it's one one. Third and final here. Michael Gilmore with a big second round to make things very interesting with five minutes or less to go. This is a fantastic start for Andre in round three. That takedown really took his will. I passed his guard pretty easy. And then once I got the gift wrap, it was really just about finishing the fight, showing that he wasn't fighting back, and just doing that damage. That's going to do it. Andre Petrovsky, third round TKO, <laughs> welcomes himself to the UFC with a big performance. I was happy to know that on 10 days notice, that I can step up and handle business. It meant a lot to win my first UFC fight, to be in the UFC, and to start my career off with a finish.